Hello! In this video, we'll explore some tips and tricks for creating cleaner and tidier blueprints in Unreal Engine. When working in Unreal, it's easy for projects to become completely disorganized, which can make it hard to work with and can even result in some of your blueprints looking like complete spaghetti, a mistake I've made myself. Today, I'll cover all of the clean code principles that I know to help you avoid these pitfalls and create awesome blueprints and maintain tidy projects. Also, before we get started, if you want to learn even more about Unreal Engine, make sure to check out my website, Unreal Engine University. I even have a completely free Unreal Engine beginner course, which will help you develop your skills. Okay, with that said, let's get started. The first tip I have for you is to be organized with your folder names. So I'm inside my Unreal Engine inventory system project. And as you can see, I have a folder for each of the different elements inside of my inventory system project. So if I just go over to my textures folder, all of the textures associated with this project are inside of this folder. If I go over to my blueprints folder, all of the different blueprints associated with this project are inside of this folder, and so on and so on. So if I go to the materials, it's the same. Now, this may sound like a very basic point, although because it's so basic, it's easy to miss. When working with Unreal Engine, it's very easy to just put everything in one folder and be disorganized. And from personal experience, if you ever want to release an asset onto the Unreal Engine marketplace, if your folders aren't organized, Unreal Engine will automatically just reject your project and you won't be able to sell it. So just in case you ever wanted to release an asset on the Unreal Engine marketplace in the future, you need to make sure that all of your folders are organized. Plus, this just gives you the extra benefit of having a neat and organized project. The next tip I want to go over is also to make sure that everything has good naming conventions. Inside of this project, you'll notice that everything has an appropriate name. So all of my blueprints start with blueprint underscore whatever the blueprint is. Same with my materials, they start with M underscore whatever the material is. Same with my texture elements, and so on. You don't necessarily have to name it like this. Unreal Engine does have some naming conventions that it recommends you use, although you don't have to use them. Normally, I don't really name things like this. I just call it blueprint underscore whatever. However you name it is up to you. Just make sure that you're consistent with the way that you name things. I'll make sure to link a article which basically shows the best way to name things, although this is just a guideline, you don't necessarily have to use this. The next tip I have for you is to add reroute nodes. This basically allows you to kind of move the position of some nodes and make things look a bit cleaner. So I have this node here. If I just double click, this will allow me to add a reroute node and I can just move it down. And let me also just add another one here and move it down. And this just makes it a lot easier for me to see the execution of how this node is going from here all the way into here. So you can just use reroute nodes to help basically reorganize how your nodes look. The next tip I have for you is to use blueprint function libraries. I've not really used them a lot, although they can be very helpful. When you're developing your project, you may discover that you need a certain amount of functions that make development easier for your project. These functions are normally the same and are gonna be used across a bunch of different blueprints. If that's the case, then you wanna use a blueprint function library. This will basically allow you to use functions across a range of different blueprints. So let me just give you a visual showcase of what it is in case you didn't understand. So to create one, just right click and then go over to blueprint and select blueprint function library. I'm just gonna call this my blueprint underscore hello test. And then I'm just gonna open up and we can create a new function which we can basically use in any blueprint. So I'm just gonna make this say hello test. And when I call this function, I'm just gonna drag off here and look for print string and I'll just make it say hello Let's compile this and then save it. And now if I go over to any blueprint, so I'm just gonna go over to my third person character blueprint and event begin play, I can just drag off here and I can call that hello test function library that I made and it'll just print shrink hello. I can also just go over to my widget blueprint. So any other blueprint, let me just go over here and go over to the graph. And again, I can just right click and I can call the hello test and I can just call this function anywhere. So this can be helpful if you have a function that you want to use in many different places inside of your project. When working with Unreal Engine, you normally code all of the main logic inside of the event graph. Although if your event graph is getting a bit big and a bit messy, what we can do is we can actually collapse some of the nodes in the event graph into a separate graph. So if I just select all of the input nodes I have right here, I can just right click and then go collapse nodes and it'll collapse all of those nodes into a different graph. I'm just gonna call this my input graph. And then if I just go with my graphs here, I have my event graph, and I also have my input graph. 
And inside of here, I have all of the different code which handles the input for my um, third person character. So you can create separate graphs inside of your event graph if you just want to be organized. I normally don't use this, although if you're working with a very big blueprint project, this can be extremely helpful. Another thing we can do to be organized is to create functions. So I created this simple blueprint code, which will basically update my player character's health. And if I want to, I can select all of the nodes here, right click and go collapse the function. And this will basically make all these nodes a function. And if I want, I can reuse this elsewhere in my project. And if I need to access and reference all of these nodes somewhere else in my event graph, I can do that by just dragging in this function. So if you have sections of your graph, which are made up of the same code, you should probably turn them into a function. So just to showcase you an example. So I'm working on a new combat system. And what I've done is I've created a new function, which basically checks how much stamina my player character has. Because in this combat system, my player needs to do things like dodge, attack and run and all that type of stuff. And that requires stamina. Instead of writing that code everywhere where I need to check my player character's stamina, I've created a function which checks the amount of stamina that my player character has and the amount of stamina that my player character will need and I'll return that value. I could basically copy and have this everywhere where I need that, but it's quicker and easier to turn this into a function and basically just reuse this. Another benefit of functions is that we can create local variables inside of them. This can also help our project be organized. Normally in Unreal Engine, all of the different variables associated with our project will be here. Although with functions, we can create variables which are only inside of this function. So if I just go over to the local variable, I can just add a new variable. And let's just call this L for local and just call this health. Then just compile this. And if I go over to my event graph, we'll see that it disappears. Although if I go back to my function, I can access and reference this variable. So I can get it and drag it in here. Whilst we're on the topic of variables, let's go over how we can basically organize them. When you're working in Unreal Engine, it can be very easy to add many different variables to your character or blueprint because you may need them. Although this can lead to things becoming very unorganized like how they are now. To make this a bit better, we can organize variables into categories. So I have a bunch of different variables and I can just select this health variable and I'm just going to organize this into the category of stats. So to create a category, we can just type in the category we want. I can just call the stats. And then I can drag all of my variables, which are related to that category, inside of it. So I can just select the speed and drag it into here. If I want, I can also just select the variable here, click here, and then just select stats. And that will also move it into here. So we can basically create categories for our variables. That's another way to be nice and organized. Another thing we can do to be organized is to create child blueprints. So if you don't know what a child blueprint is, in Unreal Engine, we can basically make blueprints have a parent-child relationship. So to better showcase what I mean, ages ago, I made this retro FPS Unreal Engine project. In it, the player has many different weapons. So they have a pistol weapon, they can get a shotgun weapon, they can get a minigun weapon, and so on. Now, since a lot of these weapons use the same logic, it wouldn't make sense to basically create separate logic for all of these different blueprints. Instead, what I did was make one master weapon. So if I just open it up, and this master weapon contains all of the different settings that a gun would need. So in my variables tab, I have things like weapon damage, the ammo type, the projectile it uses, the sound it makes, and the projectile speed that this gun would have. Then to create a new weapon, instead of basically writing another blueprint which has all of the logic and code, what I did is I just right clicked and then just go create child blueprint class, and this will inherit all of the logic of the parent. And if I just double click and open this up, here in the settings, I can control all of the different settings that this weapon will have. So by using child blueprints, you can save a lot of time and be very organized. Also, if you don't know, if you want, you can add comments to your blueprint code. So to add a comment, I'm just gonna delete this because I already have a comment. You just select with your mouse cursor, then press the C button, and this will allow you to add a comment around a bunch of nodes. And you can just basically write a comment on what the nodes do. So I'll just call this handle player sprint and I can just change the color of this comment. Maybe I want a comment to be a certain color. And you can even click the show level when zoomed and it will show you the comment when you're really far away from it. But you don't need to have this option enabled. Although normally when I comment something, I do like to have this option enabled. Also, when you comment something, when I move this comment, it'll move all of the nodes in the comment with it. You may also want to have a style about how you basically um, place nodes. So some people like to place nodes on top like this. Some people like to place them underneath like this. 
and some people like to just place them at the side like this I don't really have a style although what I would say is you should just pick one and then just stick with it that way it looks consistent because right now I kind of have it just kind of floating I think you should make it a particular style that way it'll be easier to read and a bit cleaner especially when you're working with larger projects what I actually normally like to do I'm not sure if this is the best so this is just a thing I do but normally I just make my project and then once I've finished making my project I go back and then organize it although maybe in hindsight it'll be easier to just organize the project as I'm making it I normally just do it at the end and then personally I've not used this although I have seen a lot of um, Unreal Engine YouTubers sometimes use this plugin called Flat Nodes. So this basically is a minimalistic style for nodes, which basically makes reading your event graph more clearer and easier to read. So I'm on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. It's completely free, so you don't need to worry about paying for it. And this is how it will change your project to look. Personally, I kind of just like the normal Unreal Engine style, although I know some people like to change it. There are also other plugins on the Unreal Engine Marketplace which can change how um, your nodes will look. But it's completely personal preference. So that's it. Those are some tips and tricks to help you be more organized with your projects. Hopefully you found this valuable. If you want to learn even more Unreal Engine content, make sure to check out my website, Unreal Engine University. I even have a completely free Unreal Engine beginner course there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.